It's funny that the book that's recommending me to go on walks without listening to earphones, Digital Minimalism, is also the book that I end up listening to during my walks because it's so interesting. I'm really enjoying this book so far and I think I'll share the lessons from what I learned at some point. I might even actually buy the physical book just so I have some things that I can highlight and that I can that I can take notes down from it. But yeah, really enjoying digital minimalism. Mochi is eating the big kibbles. So that's good. She's not choking. And her teeth will be cleaner. I gave you what you no more. No more. I gave you no more. <laughs> It's a nice day out, so I let Tigger out. I have to come out if I let him out, because he's not coming in by himself. It's weird. If I give Tigger food, he doesn't eat it. I had to literally push it right in front of him for him to start eating. but. He won't come and eat the food if I just put it a little bit further away. Mochi would come. She was coming and I had to block her. It's that time again. Dumbbell curls at 25 pounds each. Super arm lateral raises at 9 pounds each. Let's do this. came during my workout. <laughs> Mochi. So that's 30 dumbbell curls at 25 pounds and 41 super arm lateral raises at 9 pounds. It took me just under 16 minutes. Mission accomplished. I used to be only able to do two curls at a time when I was just supersetting. But now I can do three curls at a time, so I am definitely getting stronger. Hey, mochi! <laughs> mochi! Okay, so I just streamed practicing the flute. Thanks for tuning in, Jose Maria. And my mom said hi, so that was cool to see. Oh, and Donald Dump who tuned in at the last minute. <laughs> I don't know why Donald Dump keeps tuning in. He commented beautiful, and so 
That was nice to hear. I want to touch on one of the lessons that I learned from Digital Minimalism, the book, while I was listening to it on my walk. One of the main things he said was, and this is a big thing, he said, don't press like or comment on a friend's post. Doing more of that is training your brain to replace social interactions with just digital bits. It's not satisfying. It doesn't connect you that more. It has the illusion of doing that, but not really. So it's dissatisfying. And the more you do that kind of stuff, the more you stop doing real life interactions. The more you focus on digital interactions, the less real interactions you have. So Cal Newport, the author, really stressed the importance of face-to-face -face interactions as well as phone calls. And he said phone calls can be stressful because you don't know if when you're calling, whether they have time right now to talk, if you're bothering them. So he had the idea of having office hours. So for example, um, one of his friends or one actually one of the people that he was trying to reach out to has these call hours where he said, uh, during 5.30 every weekday, he's commuting home uh, by train or something like that. So that's the best time to call him, 5.30 p.m. on any weekday. And so even though this guy who's super busy and working in a very digital setting finds a time to have these analog conversation interactions. So that was an interesting tip. But to drive home the main point, have as much face-to-face -face and conversational voice interaction. So face-to-face -face or calls as much as possible because the people who have had more social interactions like those were happier and the people who spend more time on digital clicking likes and comments and messaging were just not as happy. That was based on some studies that came out in 2016. So yeah, that was interesting. Let me see what I got done on my list today. I did stream of consciousness writing, check, went for my walk, check, I worked out, biceps and shoulders, check, just did the flute, check that off right now. What I wrote down that I didn't check off was playing Resident Evil 4 as an option question mark at the end as well as reading letting go and streaming that question mark so that was an option but those were not one of the mandatory things that I want to get done today. Those were just question marks. So I'll consider today a completely successful day and getting what I wanted to get done. That was great, man. Having this list really helps out for the day. I think I'm going to continue to write these lists down every single morning. Of course, they'll vary and change depending on what I have to do that day, but Having an aim, even if I don't complete it, having an aim for the day really is making a difference. Oh, I also wanted to mention, I did watch a YouTube video this morning from Ali Abdal and I took some notes. I wanted to share that with you as well. So there's a guy who's a multi-deca millionaire. He has like tens of millions of dollars and he's working on, He's. I mean, he's, he's not working on a business. He sold his business and that's why he has so much money. And he's been posting on LinkedIn and he said he was trying to ask for help because uh, he hasn't been posting for very long on LinkedIn. And this is what he said. I've only been posting for five times a week for a year. I'm still a beginner. That's like poof, the mindset of just because you're doing it almost every day for a full year doesn't mean you're an expert. You're still a beginner at that stage. That's what this guy appreciates having so much world experience. And another quote, I'll insert the clip here by MKBHD. What would you attribute your success to on YouTube? The channel itself, I mean, there's plenty of other successful tech channels, but it has its own unique style. It has a consistent voice. It's been me for 10 years. Yeah. Um, so I guess just if you combine all those factors, consistency plus tech staying interesting, that's, that's mainly it. So that's basically just consistency. MKBHD boils his success down to one thing, which is consistency. Posting YouTube videos for 10 years. Another quote from a guy who was teaching how to have an asymmetrical life was find something you enjoy and do it for decades. Do it for decades. And Ali was saying, there's no way you won't be successful if you do that, whatever success means to you. And Ali was also told, there is no achievement that you can possibly achieve that will make you any happier than you are right now. So he was stressing the moment of being happy in the present moment instead of attaining it in the future after you reach a certain milestone in terms of finance or anything like that career-wise. And the last point I wrote down was this quote by Aziz Ansari talking to Frank Ocean, a successful musician. And I ran into Frank Ocean at a party and I was like, Frank, how do you do it, man? You never do any press, you barely tour, and you only put out your music when you really want to. What's the secret? And he said, oh man, you just gotta be comfortable making less money, that's all. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> 
Make less money, you say? Never thought about that. So the point of that quote is, if you want to have an ideal lifestyle, you gotta be comfortable not maximizing your profit over everything else. That was another pretty important insight, but that doesn't apply to me right now. That's more for successful people who have reached a certain level of success. Oh, and another thing I wanted to say was in the afternoon after lunch, I had a moment where I was watching YouTube on the TV, but I only watched like two or three videos and then I consciously made the decision, just like I mentioned in my last video, to save everything I want to watch in the watch later and turn off YouTube after just like, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 minutes at most. So that was a huge success for me. If I went into another YouTube spiral, I would not have worked out, I would not have practiced food, I would not have made this video so early. Right now it's exactly 6 p.m. So yeah, that was a massive win for me today to actually stop myself from watching YouTube going down that rabbit hole. So I think I deserve a pat on the back for that. Great day, man. I think I'm gonna read before I go to bed since I have spare time before bedtime. 1% better every day, baby.